Hello, in this quick start video, I just want to give you some very quick uh, tips on how to get going with Kinetic Text Animator. So the stage is right here. It can be very large when you first open it up and you can shrink that down. I like to do 60%, but whatever works for you. Now the other thing that you want to do, since these are text animations, you want to have at least one font selected for many of them. Let's go ahead and open up this first one. And I can do a keyword search for my favorite fonts. And then I can, if I want, I, I have this open now, I can double click on it and now my font is selected. Now um, you can see here that we have in the timeline area, we have a, a thing called a anablock. That's what these are called. I need to have one selected in order to create an animation. So I can create a quick uh, text animation here. Let's just type something in. And then if I click on animate it, it's going to go ahead and add that in based on the font that I do. And I can uh, make changes and then hit animate it again. And then it'll just quickly create a new animation. Whenever I want to make a new animation, I can click on the plus sign and put it in a new position and then create another animation. Now I also want to point out to you that you can do keyword searches for assets. So I can do something like business here and then it'll search and it'll find images. Now for images, you want to drag and drop them. The other assets, music and video, you can click on an add button. But for images, you can just go ahead and drag and drop. There is a crop feature. I'm using my trackpad to zoom. And once zoomed, I can use my mouse to kind of move things around. When I'm happy with it, I can add it to the timeline. And then what I can do is go back to my animation here, click on it, and I can see where that's showing up and it's kind of covering that. So I can use the grid feature and I can set that so that it'll maybe show up, maybe let's say here, uh, just for the fun of it and click on animate it and it's gonna move that over there. Now I wanna move this, uh, that block, I have that empty block there, let's go ahead and delete that. And anyways, that's, you can see here, once I get, get rid of the hide grid, I've kind of positioned it in the video where I can see it better and so forth. So that is just a quick little orientation. I just wanted to let you know about Anablox, about the fact that you need to go, you can get your font browser there and drag and drop images and so forth. Now check out the tutorials on the dashboard for more information on how to get more cool stuff out of Kinetic Text Animator.